everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This week we went to the Vilcabamba Zoo. We go there a lot. So it's just um, a really beautiful place to go. They do a lot of really nice work at making it family friendly, keeping it clean, um, keeping the grounds just in really, really good shape. Um, so I really enjoy going. And from a photo perspective, since you've been there, you kind of know what to expect. You kind of know how you can improve on the photos that you took last time. And so I like going just to get a little bit better of a picture. And the, the park is just absolutely beautiful. They have the swimming pool and I think the volleyball courts and um, the playground. So for very little money, for me, I think this last time we paid 50 cents to get in. Um, a family can go and not spend a lot of money, trap their kids inside, and they can play all day long on all the equipment and everything and just run around like crazy and have fun. And they have little barbecue cookout areas, little picnic areas, just really, really nice. I just, I love the way Ecuador does parks. So once you get done with the park and enjoying your peaceful walk through the park, then there's the zoo. And a lot of people, you know, complain about a zoo because they put animals in cages. Well, in Ecuador, they more use it as an opportunity for conservation. So yes, they pick up older animals that are not gonna do well in the wild and they take care of them um, instead of letting them get killed in the wild because they're older. Um, they do take them and uh, return them to the wild. They don't always have all the same animals um, when we go. There's a couple that are um, in there that you'll see that uh, are there a lot. And for some reason, they can't go back into the wild. So they're, they're fairly well cared for. They give them a pretty good diet of you know, vegetables and fruits and, and such, and they do pretty well. So I can't really complain um, if the choice is die in the wild or be cared for. Mm, I think they could be cared for. It's okay. Anyhow, so once you get past the park and it's a beautiful walk back, then you go in through the zoo. One of the first things you come into are the birds. They have these huge macaws and they're just really beautiful birds. And when you get them talking, they're very loud, <laughs> very, very loud, but they're beautiful birds. They do have some love birds, which um, are just so super sweet. And as you see some of the, the birds, um, some of them are molting and um, some of them look really old. Um, so they're in a protected space, which is, which is okay. The iguanas, now one of the iguanas looks like a female because she looks like she's wearing lipstick but who knows? Um, but they're an interesting dinosaur looking relic. Uh, and you're pretty close to them in, in all of these areas. They're, they're right up there in the front. Of course, we went early in the morning. So we, we got there at about 10 o'clock and they feed them at about that time. So they're more active and they're so moving around a little bit more so that's a lot more fun to watch them and interesting to interact with them. And a lot of them do interact with you, especially the monkeys. They have, um, I don't know the name of all the monkeys, but the little spider monkeys are so sweet. And they used to have more. So I know they're down to like, it looks like a mom, a dad, and a baby. Um, but so interesting to watch because the, um, I call it the mom, the one over there washing the, uh, washing the fruit. And so there's a little bowl of water there and she's washing the fruit and softening it probably a little bit and then comes over to the little baby to give him the little baby some of the fruit and the baby takes the fruit and starts eating the fruit and breaking it into little pieces to make it easier to eat and it's just really fun to watch so if you have time don't just whiz through the park spend some time watching the animals because they're really interesting um, there is a bigger monkey he's really interesting i'll have to look him up and see what he is but his tail is amazing it's got little grippers <laughs> on the inside of the tail so he can hang on and swing from the different uh, 
gymnastic pieces that they have in there for him to swing from, the little branches and stuff that they make for him to play on. One of the interesting animals beyond the monkeys, I love the monkeys, and some of them you have to be careful how close you get because the baby monkey does like to, um, he's a thief, he's <laughs> just a thief. He takes things from you, so he's very cute and he loves the camera, but he uh, definitely will take whatever he can get from you. Um, but there's a king vulture. So we have here um, a black vulture. So I got a pretty good picture of a black vulture that was um, sitting on the fence one day, um, which is amazing. They're, they're huge and they're just amazing birds. Their wingspan is just incredible. But the king vulture is not just amazing He's gorgeous. I mean, his coloring is just, I would have, had, had he not been in the zoo, I would have never been able to see one quite like that. I mean, he's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, they also had some hawks in there. Um, it looked like possibly a mating pair. Uh, beautiful, beautiful birds. Um, they do like to be photographed, so they're, they, pose for you, which is absolutely wonderful. Of course, almost all um, zoos have a tortoise or two. Uh, this one has some big ones, and not as big as Loha Zoo, but the medium size, we'll call them that. Um, and they just very slowly walk around, go get their veggies. They love it. One of my favorites in the zoo is the puma, especially if you can go when they're feeding. Um, very active, moving around a lot, just an absolutely beautiful animal. Um, this time when we went, just very chatty. So we got some really good pictures of him being very vocal. So somebody told me I should have taken a video because that would have been amazing. It probably would have been but hindsight, maybe next time. But other than the puma, the other one that I love to see is the ocelot. The ocelot's actually a mini jaguar. Um, usually when I go uh, later in the day, he's always sleeping, never moving around, but today was moving around quite a bit. Um, obviously has something going on with him. He's uh, got some kind of skin condition or or got into a big old fight with something. Um, not in the zoo because he's alone in, in his space, but uh, definitely looks like it's healing up from some type of interaction. And when you get through that, I didn't take any pictures. I think they have ostriches, but I didn't get any pictures of them. I missed that part somehow. You wind through the zoo and somehow you can miss a cage or two. So I've missed some, obviously I need to go back and take some more. Um, but when you get finished with the animals, then definitely if it's open, go in and see the orchids and see which orchids are in bloom. The guy that works in there is absolutely a sweetheart and he's always willing to show you the different orchids that they have and um, show you the names of the different orchids and some of them are very, very unique. Um, but definitely a really nice place to go just to kind of relax and spend the day. And if you like taking pictures, definitely go and use that opportunity to um, photograph some really interesting animals, interesting place, places. Um, it's, it's just a really cool, relaxing place. I hope you get to go. See you next time.